can we still play twin saga we're gonna find that out in this video we're also gonna do an overview check out the updates the cash up the monetization the features and what's happening twin saga nowadays where can you play and we're gonna do a twin saga gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start twin saga is a dead target anime mmorpg and with that said let's do this Welcome back, Saviors GH here. Before we play the game from the beginning, first, what is Twin Saga? It's a tab target MMORPG with anime style graphics. Within this enchanting realm, players can embark on adventures, engage in diverse activities such as exploring uncharted territories, engaging in monster battles, and accomplishing quests that lead them towards the game's end game content. Moreover, the game encourages social interaction, allowing players to connect with one another and even team up to conquer formidable challenges within raid dungeons, thus earning valuable rewards for their achievements. Now going to Twin Saga's Gamigo YouTube page, they describe Twin Saga as a free-to-play anime MMO, set apart by its unique mobile housing system and an endless supply of thrilling action. Now let's explore some of the main features of Twin Saga. First is its visually stunning and lively anime-inspired world. The game's vibrant art style brings to life landscapes and characters, immersing players in a captivating realm. And one of the game's standout features is its well-established class system, reminiscent of the popular MMO Eden Eternal. Players have the freedom to choose from diverse array of classes, each offering unique abilities and playstyle. This flexibility empowers players to shape their characters' strengths and skills, allowing them to tailor the gameplay experience according to their preferences. Moreover, Twin Saga offers players a sense of ownership with a customizable Terra Cottage system, and upon venturing in the game world, players are provided with their very own Terra Cottage, a private and customizable space. Within the Terra Cottage, Players can let their creativity run wild as they decorate and furnish it to their liking, creating a unique and personalized home that reflects their style and achievements. Now, Twin Saga was released in September 1, 2016, and it's developed by X Legend Entertainment, a Taiwanese video game development company that has made a significant mark on the online gaming industry. Founded in 2002, the studio is known for its expertise in creating anime-styled massively multiplayer online role-playing games that cater to a wide audience of players around the world. Some of the well-known games developed by X Legend Entertainment include Eden Eternal, Aura Kingdom, Grand Fantasia, and Dragomon Hunter, or Dragon Slayer in other regions. Regarding the reception of the game, Twin Saga received a generally positive reception from players and critics alike. The game was praised for its vibrant anime-inspired art style, engaging mechanics, and class system. On the flip side, some players and critics mentioned that the game's story and questline could be relatively predictable or generic, but the engaging gameplay and the social interactions with other players outweigh this minor drawback for many. And as always, remember, as with any online game, players' opinions may vary based on individual preferences and playstyles. As for my personal opinion, when it was released, I liked the graphics and the class system, but the history and track record of the developers stopped me from investing any time from the game as I know they will just abandon this and make another anime MMO. And it's a turn off, I prefer MMOs being supported for a very long time. Now, let's talk about Twin Saga's monetization. Twin Saga operates on a free-to-play model, granting players access to the game without any upfront cost. It offers in-game purchases using a virtual currency that can be acquired with real money. These purchases include cosmetic items like costumes and weapon skins that add stats, convenience items such as experience boosters, customization options for players' terra cottages, upgrade items that guarantees the success rate of enhancement of your equipment, and also mounts and senshis which can help you in your adventures. That said, here's an update on what's happening to Twin Saga nowadays. It's officially dead on English, but you can still play this in other languages, and if I'm correct, Twin Saga goes by the name Astral Tale in Japan, and in other regions, it's Astral Realm and just Astra. If you still wanna play on English, the private servers for Twin Saga is already available, and Google is your friend. It's not that hard to find. Now, to show you more of the features and what the game has to offer, let's go play the game from the start. Let's go play the game. Okay guys, here's the character creation. We got the genders over here, male and female. Now here are the classes guys. We got the swords master over here, the mage, gunslinger, dragon knight, monk, cannoneer, sword elite, and the guitar magician. I think this is the new class. We're gonna play as a guitar magician, Nyx. And here's the character customization, guys. 
we can randomize it just in case you don't want to customize your character and just pick this one. For example, this is good enough for me. But if this is not good enough for you, you can change the face over here. We have 10 faces to choose from and 8 hairstyles. How many skin tones? 4 skin tones? And what? Why is the color of the hair only 2? No, this is there's something wrong here. <laughs> oh yeah, there it goes. We can change the hair color over here. Now this one is for the eye color. Are we good? Name the character. Next. Oh, there's a voice setting. Japanese. We should be good, right? Let's preview Greek. And then big. <laughs> Start game. And we are in the game, guys. Controls first. Movement. We can move with WSD. And we can also use click to move or point and click. Can we jump? Yep, we can jump. Can we double jump? Ah, uh, yes, we could. Is that it? Can we dash? Pressing shift, nothing's happening. How about control alt? No, nothing. So let's open up our bag for beginner support boxes. We got nothing on our backpack. By the way, guys, before we start, I'm playing on a private server. And if you want to know where I'm playing, you just gotta ask on my Discord because I cannot share anything on this video about private servers. So nowadays, if you're playing on a private server, make sure to check your item mall because usually if you're playing on a private server there will be some kind of a uh, free stuff on the cash shop and in this private server there's nothing so <laughs> that's not nice and also if you can open up your mail open up your mail because usually again they give away the beginner support box over there and if it's still not there it's most likely in one of the quests like in this one for example this quest over here this mayor's daughter just talk to her take the quest and she's gonna give us the beginner support box. So let's check it out, open up our bag. And as you see, we got a guitar over here and the beginner support box, eternal gift. We need to be level five to be able to open it. So most of the stuff that we're gonna do here are just tutorial guys, here at the beginning island over here. So I'm just gonna play for a bit. And then when I get to the town, I'm gonna record again and show you guys if this private server is alive or not. Be back in a bit. And we are back guys. So we are at the town. And I can't see anyone over here. And as you can see, we got a fox over here. And we got this from the beginner sport box. So you just play and they're going to give you this thing. So, man, there's nobody around. I saw a few people running around. But the last time I played this on the official servers, there's quite a few people over here. Okay, so anyway, nothing much to see over here. Except this one. <laughs> now let me show you the, some of the quests. So how about let's do this quest over here. We're going to be hunting down Zakar Vanguard. We're gonna do this so I can show you also guys the combat. I kinda like this guitar magician over here. There's a lot of AOE attacks. You can easily hunt down enemies. So there goes the target enemies. So combat guys. As you can see we can highlight an enemy. And then when we press an attack. It will hone in to damage or debuff the enemy. So let's try gathering them around. See if we can AOE and mob them. So we can finish this quickly. Let's go. Man, we can't drag them. <laughs> anyway. Let's go over here. Man, these guys are tough. By the way, there's some kind of a uh, summons over here. Kind of like a Dolans on Aura Kingdom. As you can see, we have one over here. You can get those. And the cash up. And some are free. Like this one. Man, I really like X Legends tab targeting combat. They mastered this combat system. It doesn't feel too boring. And rooted. You can move around while casting skills. One more to finish the quest. And we're done with this quest. Let's turn it over. There's different types of quests over here. Some are fetch quests. Sometimes you just talk to NPCs and you will get EXP. <laughs> and my most hated quest, item gathering quest. Wherein you hunt down a bunch of enemies. And then there's a chance to get one item right and usually it doesn't drop that's why it's very annoying i don't like those kinds of quests okay so the game is making us hunt down more zokar frontline shaman so how about let me show you guys an instance dungeon 
I'm gonna go back to the first instance dungeon so I can show it to you guys. Okay, so we're in front of the instance dungeon. Let's enter. As you can see, select a dungeon. We got solo mode, party, and hard. We're gonna do solo mode because we're alone. And ha! And we are in the instance dungeon. So our goal is to, of course, hunt down the bosses and it should be done, right? Uh, I think let's just follow this path over here. Let's go. Gather up all of the enemies as we go. There goes the first boss. Duh, what's your name? Opal Toad. Let's go. Ooh, he's casting some kind of an AOE. Let's go, bro. There are telegraph attacks. Man, this is what I love about X Legends Instance Dungeons. You can do this. <laughs> is the boss dead? Yep, I didn't even notice that the boss died. Let's go. Look for another boss. Should be here. There he goes. Beat him up. Okay, we can target him. Can you summon some ads? Destroy the minions. Ooh, what? You Megaton smashed me. Let's go. Let's just hit and run. This is doing a lot of AOE attacks. Die, bro. Ooh, what is that? You got some great mechanics. Nope, this is too early in the game. Should probably just an air attack. Okay, we defeated Omar. Is that it? Oh, I remember. There's another one. Even combat. It's not done yet. There's another one. I think over here. Let's go. Man, look at this game. I can't believe the X Legend just abandoned this game. They gonna just change the monetization. Or if they don't wanna change the monetization. Ah, I don't know. Probably turn this game into an offline game with an option to be online I know they don't wanna you know maintain the servers anymore is this a boss? Oh, wait a minute no I don't think that's a boss but I think we should handle them let's go let's just kite them imagine an X-Legend MMO being some kind of a uh, single player offline <laughs> game at least it will survive right you can just sell it for 10 or 5 dollars and there's an option to be online just in case somebody would want to host a server they just need to open up a game for example like that man that's way too complicated they're not gonna do that <laughs> just look at this this is such a waste Boss fight! What's the name of this dude? Temple Dragon? What? Nope. You're the Temple Dra- No, you're not the Temple Dragon. Oh, Alucard. Again, it doesn't make sense. You're not a vampire. Why are you Alucard? And he's smashing me. Let's just hit and run. Let's circle him. Dodge. What? He's charging. Stop him. You're almost dead, bruh. You're almost dead. And he's dead. And that's Twin Saga in 2023. It's still playable. I'm a bit disappointed though that there isn't much players on the Twin Saga private server I played on. Anyway, I believe this is a decent MMO. And thankfully, we can still enjoy it. And if you want to know more about Twin Saga, join my Discord server if you still want to experience it. And guys, do you want to see the latest free-to-play MMORPG news? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Game Me Hardcore. See you in the next one.